so I just got done listening to this video that someone created regarding gang stalking and what it entails. And it is, it, it's, it's eloquent, it's precise, it's concise. I just put it up on my Facebook page. I really hope that people watch that video. That's exactly what I go through and have been through. So he talked about the final phase, the attack phase. He talked about how um, the attacks are relentless 24 seven, unless their attention gets diverted to another target temporarily, but they will always continue. And he talked about what happens physiologically to a target during the attacks. The burns, I've shown pictures of the burns, heart palpitations, I get those every day. Muscle twitching, I get that. They tried to blame that on dystonia, which is a reaction that um, people have from psychiatric drugs or street drugs. I'm talking hardcore narcotic street drugs. It's, that is not what I experience. My dog, Schnebly, I want you to fucking, I have pictures all over the place of him and videos. I want you to look at him because he is, every time he lays down with me, he falls asleep. He starts twitching all over the place because of what they're doing. And the other day, he wouldn't, he didn't even fucking eat. He wouldn't eat, he had no appetite all day. It's evil what they're doing, it really is. It is evil. And now, and I'm not the only one, not by a long shot. There's a lot of us. There's a lot of us. It's almost like the mark of the beast, isn't it? You can't buy or sell anything without the mark. If you don't take the mark, they're going to hunt you down and fucking kill you. You know? be a social pariah if you don't take the mark. Gang stalkers have taken the mark of the beast, the beast system, in my opinion. <laughs>